I realize that's small. Good evening, guys. Welcome to Monday Night Live. With the arrival, we think that we are in a different, um, what do you call it, link? Live. Live link because the other one wouldn't let us in. So we had to create another one. We had to create Started another one. Again. So I'm trying to see if. I don't know if anybody can see this one. But we got two people that said showing, so I'm sure they'll still find it. They're coming over. Eventually, they'll filter in and say, see, someone's here. Hi, is that Steph? Hi, Steph. Hi, China Moss Farm. Hey. It says, hey, from Stella, Georgia. Um, good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry. Can you go ahead? No, we're fine. I just read the two of these. Okay. Hi, Steph. Um, oh, oh, wow. They just all popped up. There it is. Oh, my glasses are dirty. Hi, right. Chai Moss Farm. Okay. We have Moosey. You, you pronounce that a whole lot better than I do. Um, Mousseliu Aradzeji, sorry for the incident. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Barbara. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Thank you. Amina Shani, so sorry for what happened. Thank you. Anime, hello. How are you? Hi, Jet Union. How you doing? Okay. Um, hello, Kenny and Terry. Karen's World says hello from Kenya. Hey. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Tony Lippett. Hello, I'm um, from Jacksonville, Florida. V Sanford, hi V. Um, thank you for your email. Bertha K says, hi family, V Slayton, hello. Um, go back to Africa, hello brother. Hey family, keep your faith up. Life is beyond things, thank you. Um, Jaren Bowman says, hello. Um, Bill Robbins is still watching from my Miami, Florida. Hello, family. We are here. Um, Charissa Coleman. Good evening. Glad to see you are okay. Malakvik Mur. Peace and bless his lovely people. Um, Patricia Strickland. Keep. Oh. Yes. Okay, okay. Patricia Strickland says, keep moving forward. Patricia, thank you for your, um, for everything today. Thank yes. you. Um, Stacy Hey, says, hey, um, hi. Barbara says, Barbara Keown says, we are waiting on the other link. Yeah, the other link wouldn't let us in, so we had to um, create another one. Yeah, it sorry went, about that. Yeah, sorry about that. I um, mean, wouldn't let us in. Um, Sama MC, sending you love and light from Kenya. Whoa, thank, thank you. you. Um, Yvette Waters says, good day, Kenny and Terry. Blessings to you both. Go ahead. You want to read some? Oh, there you go. Good. Um, Descendants from Africa says, good afternoon, fam. Good afternoon. Um, Peekaboo, Peekaboo, I'm praying for you both. I felt like crying when those devils attacked your beautiful home. B says, sorry for the incident. Gamby and brother from UK. Thank you. Um, we just want to say good evening. We want to um, remember where we stopped, okay? Um, we want to say that um, the land that we were advertising for our subscriber is still available. Um, it is in San Yang, patrolling one. It's four plots for um, 630,000 Delasi. Mm -hmm. So that is still available if anyone is interested. Um, you can email us at thearrival20 at gmail.com. And um, I think that's all I have to say about the land, about, you know, about any advertisement. <laughs> yeah. You have anything that you want to know? I don't have any advertisements. Yeah. Okay. So um, I guess, you know, we, we, we chose the topic tonight, um, how to move forward in um, trying times. Um, yesterday, we went out to meet some subscribers. And we had an amazing day. Yeah. I mean, it was so beautiful. That video was supposed to go up. Okay. Yeah. yeah but we had an amazing day. Mm -hmm. And um, we came home 
and the lights were on in our home and we were like, how did this happen? Because we know we didn't leave lights on, but you know, everything was locked up and Kenny came in first this time. Well, I walked up and I looked in the window. When I looked in the window, dogs were outside in the compound. Mm -hmm. I look in the window and I see everything just scattered. I'm like, whoa. I look at the bars on the windows, the doors here. I'm like, what in the world? I said, well, how did they get in? Did they, you know, and my, my mind just started going a hundred different ways. So after I opened the door and came in, I'm looking around and everything, the floor is wet. All the stuff is on the, dumped out on the floor. And I look in the bathroom and I look in there and then I see behind their shower curtain, this big old gaping hole. And uh, sure enough, they had busted through in that way. So y'all saw the video, yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> and, um, so I, when I came in and I saw that hole, you know, to be, to have your, your house broken in, to come and find your door wide open or your window wide open is always traumatizing. It hurts. But when I saw the hole in the wall, right, um, I was like, they broke a hole in our wall? Who breaks a hole in a wall to get into your house? There's no gold in here. There's nothing even of that much value to jeopardize the. Yeah, um, I'm on the first trip. So what do you call the our foundation? Like you know to compromise this little place with yeah. with to break a hole in the wall. Yeah. And um, I know this does not apply to no. everybody out there. I'm just speaking out here to whoever it applies to. Yeah. yeah. There is no amount of poverty. That is that is that noted that you cannot knock on someone's door and yeah. ask for food, ask for anything, but well, to break a hole in someone's wall is like animalistic. That is really beyond. Um, I can't even. I can't even. I don't even. Well, know. it was it, it, it was, was horrible. Um, like I said, that's that's some some people who have no regards for other people. Someone, and that's not all. That's not all the Gambia. You know, there's a select few here, I guess, who, who figure they can pray and try to get a quick dollar opportunity wise, you know. And so, you know, it's we just got to keep our eyes open. We got to be more vigilant and watch our surroundings more because it happens everywhere in the world. We know that. And but this particular thing happened to us and it happened, you know, when we least expected. I mean, we were I was in a state of peace in my mind. I'm like, yes, we're here. We're moving and then when you come to see it it just knocks the knocks something out of you for a second everything then you got to regather yourself so today it was a more day of regathering for me just sitting down talking to the most high you know and i know that he always has our back he, he has everything under control but when you as human beings we have our emotions we have anger we have whatever we you know we have to get past all of those emotions to uh keep focus on whatever your mission is, whatever your, your assignment is, and keep going. And it's not easy. It's not easy at all. But I never expected anybody to break through a wall looking for something which is really, you would have thought it was Fort Knox. I mean, a bank or whatever. <laughs> but I've never seen that, you know. I've never seen that. But now that we're, we, we today we spent the day recovering we even started putting things back together you know so we're, we're on a healing process and then we're moving back into the vein of what we have been doing but still you just have to beef up your security so that's what we're doing now beefing up the security you know the lights the cameras the action you know and uh just and getting security guards you know and that type of stuff and so mm -hmm. guess what we're, we're we're definitely going to be on point now with uh, the security. And this helps. I believe it kind of helps a lot of people. Okay, well, let me finish saying what I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. You're going to, where yeah. are you at? I, I don't know. You just cut me off a little bit. But anyway, uh, oh, sorry. I just want to go back to the <laughs> um, to the wall experience that um, that is not human nature to break into some, I mean, to, mm. to make a gaping hole in someone's wall to get into the house. For, to me, it was um, terroristic, like sending a message. Like, I don't know, it was like a thief doesn't break a hole in a wall, not in my eyes. So I want to, my message to the diaspora, and yes, Kenny, everything I, that you said is correct, that 
you do have to keep going and you do have to trust the most high. But I just want to send a message to um, everybody, but especially to the diaspora, um, to, to be very careful. You know, to, you know, the one thing that we do lack is we don't have cameras. Um, we do have cameras, but they're not up and they're not installed because we really thought we were fine with the dogs and the fence and the barbed wire and ne never thought someone was going to come the back way through some through an empty property. So those who are coming and those who are here and I'm planning on moving on your land, if you have an empty lot, you already know you have double the work that you need to do as far as security goes. Um, I believe that um, we need to be moving into a community that is for the diaspora. I mean, Kenny and I have come into this village and this is just my, your viewpoint. this is my viewpoint, yeah. yes. Kenny and I have come into this community. We have um, demonstrated on numerous occasions that we're willing to help to go beyond what is in our means to help with roads, to give out things to the people because we love them, because we want the best for everyone, only to, again, have this happen to us. And I just feel like, and like he said, it's not across the board, but it's different. We are totally different. They see us as um, rich people. We're not rich. I don't know who told anyone that we are rich. I ain't rich. I have nothing, nothing. You so, have a lot. No, I'm yeah. saying nothing with worth breaking oh, a hole well, in a wall to come and yeah, steal in. This, so if there's anyone out here things. watching, no, I'm saying <laughs> we have nothing. That means nothing to me. No, it but means I'm, nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying okay. that we have nothing that's worth breaking a hole in the wall to mm. come in and, and try to steal from us. Mm. We, um, you know, I am totally, totally disgusted with this whole, um, this whole the way that we're being treated okay i'm, I'm gonna have to interject no but hold on i just yeah. want to i'm almost done you can take over <laughs> all you want i'm just saying i left america because how i was treated in that system amongst the other nations thinking i'm coming home to be amongst my people mm -hmm. that i could find peace i could find safety mm -hmm. and you know let my hair down but to come home to a wall, a hole in your wall. And I know that people in the community know who did it because we're the only outsiders, you know, if we're not outsiders really, here, really. I'm just saying this is my, this is I my, know, but, but you don't have to keep And Just let me just share this. Okay. This is on my heart, please. Go for it. That we, you think we're different and we are different a little bit, but we came here to, you know, to, to come together, to learn how, to walk together in harmony. That was, at least in my mind, that we were coming home to be amongst family and we were going to learn from one another. You were going to learn from us. We were going to learn from you. But the message I'm getting is clearly that you don't want us here because of all this thievery and all this stuff that's going on and people are getting shot in America and people are dying senseless, senselessly. And then we try to leave there to come here just to be robbed and, and harassed and targeted. And I know it's not just the diaspora, but I'm telling you, whoever's out there stealing, stop it because it's hard for all of us. Who has money to keep replacing bricks and, and plumbing? Like we have money. We don't have money for that. I don't know what your purpose or what the message you're trying to say, right. okay. but it's enough is enough. And it is time for you, whoever your sick person is that broke into our house. I pray that you will not have any rest until God deals with you because that was really rude mm -hmm. and wrong. I feel violated. I feel humiliated. I feel what's the nice topic though? Tonight's topic is how do I move forward? And I want to know how That's do perfect. I how do I move forward with all Easy. these feelings? But I'm gonna Easy. tell you what, Easy. with these feelings that I have, I do nah. still trust the most high. Well, I, I trust I, I, him. But these feelings are real. I'm angry. <clears throat> I feel violated. And I feel like every time we get three steps forward, we gotta take five backwards because something's happening. Something keeps happening. But I know it's all in God's plan. So I know that no weapon that is formed against it is going to prosper. And that was a weapon and it was formed 
but it's not going to prosper because my God reigns over everything. But my message to whoever is listening, because I know you're listening, whoever robbed us, you got this one. But vengeance is the Lord's. And when he comes for you, I'm sorry. I don't think you'll be able to stand. And that's all I wanted to say. And you can say whatever you want to say. Well, I'm, no, I, I, I hear you. It's, a, it's an emotional road, emotional journey. But, you know, as far as, you know, we're women from uh, Venus, men from Mars. You know, we have, we look at the instructor. I am not from Venus. <laughs> <laughs> I am we, not from Venus. I know, I'm just kidding. I know, but I know there what used you're to saying. be a book like that. But yes. I, I say that because, you know, with the emotional standpoint, you know, I can't make my decisions based on emotions. I, I have to use the wisdom that that is um, that the Most High has given to do because His plan is bigger than me. It's bigger than us. It's His will, His way. And when you really submit to that, you know, you're going to have a lot of bumps, a lot of bruises, and things aren't going to go the way you want to. It's not going to be pleasant sometimes. But you know what? You always come out standing on your feet. You always come out on top. When you trust in the way I say, you say, how do we get move forward? I say we move forward with faith. You know, you have to have faith in the most high. Right. And, and you know, his name is Yah for me. And that's who I serve. And that's who I worship. And that's who I adore. And Yeshua, I love him and I, I praise him. And so my thing is, I'm not, you know, the things are coming, things are go. We'll continue to get things, you know, but. The peace that we have comes from him, and he always brings that back. Right. You know, so, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm angry just like you. And you know, you know you've seen me on that, you know. Uh, violated, feel the same way, you know. But um, there's um, something that I learned that I can't get any, mo any momentum for the future when my wrists are chained to the past. In other words, what this incident was about is is done. It's we got to I got to move forward, and I got to prevent it from happening again. And because of course they probably try it again somewhere, so I do it again because that's who the person who did this. That's what they think they should be doing. But let me tell you something: it's not going to prosper them anything. If anything, it's going to be more detriment to them than anything. So, hey, and it's. It's everywhere. You got people like that everywhere. And I know that all things work together for my good because I know I've been called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. And so um, I just say it's it's a focus, focus thing. Stay focused on your assignment. Stay focused. And <laughs> I, that's that's what I say, how to move forward. But uh, let me see. We got some more. What is called comments? You want to read some more? Oh, you have more to say, babe? You can go um, back oh, yeah. to, I think. Um, right here. This is the last one. Let me see. Okay. My um, Conate says, hi, family. Hello. Steph says, hey, go black. Oh, okay. Jet Union says, hi, glad to see you. Sorry for what happened. You are blessed. The most high is watching over you. Thank you, Jet. Yes. Hershey Kiss. TV says hi family from the DMV. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm Tony Lippert says praying for you, family. You are the best re um pay repats I watch from the Gambia. Thank you, Tony. Um, one love, mind over matter, let go of the material things, and then you'll um truly find inner peace. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, I don't even think they stole anything. I mean, well, they did steal something, and I don't even know what it was because I forget what was in that bag. But they just destroyed. So it's not even material things. They just came and make a, um, made a, they broke in. Made a mess. And made a mess. Um, Took some things. and is, So it's not even material. But I think what it was, we walked in on them. So they really couldn't get a good grasp on everything. That's what I really believe. Because if you look at how, how everything was just dumped. And because uh, we had seen, we saw a taxi parked up there, which we never seen in his lights. When we came on, his lights went off mm -hmm. for some reason. And when we went past him, we were trying to look to see. That's when we were coming in. We had no idea what was happening. So we looked in. So when the um, 
taxi jeep we was there we came down here and they probably were in the, in the midst of it so they probably dropped everything because the hole was kind of small they probably had to get out of there um so with that being said um we probably botched it in the middle so they didn't have the opportunity to get all that they wanted to get but i guarantee they know what's in here and they think they're going to try to come back but it's not going to be here so yeah, they probably will try yeah. to come back yeah um our hogan says hi guys hey hi our hogan um lovely africa says shalom mickey lee says hi bio family you are in my prayers thank you thank you um her regalness says peace and blessings family nothing can stop y'all's favor upon you thank you Salah says, hello, Arrival family, please stay safe. Thank you. Blessings. Graham says, good night, Kenny and Terry. Good to see you both. Yah is still with you both. Thank you. Amen. Um, the Christian Aunt Linda says, good evening, Terry and Kenny. Keep your heads up. Thank you. Lovely Africa says, I'm sorry to you both, and I'm still praying for y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Digital Dre says, glad to see you guys are okay. Peace and blessings, yes. Thank you. And as Steph says, I'm shaking my head. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, JD Orca says, good evening, Arrival family. Happy to see you are here and not letting wicked people just dis destroy your peace. Thanks. Um, Bob Garvey says, I love to see you're smiling after that incident. Thank God. Thank yeah. you. Um, Oris Boomy says, simple poverty stricken um desperation please be safe um yeah and bob barbie says i always wanted to tell everyone everyone during the rainy season these goons always take the advantage of rain mm. thank you um Woodalam and blackman says hello family stay strong amina shani says animalistic indeed that's how i feel i never in my life Never. Mm. Tracy said, um, Stacy, share the new link with the others on okay. I will in a little bit. Um descendants from Africa says, Wow, when did this happen? You guys probably invest in security mm -hmm. cameras um inside your home. I'm sorry to hear this. Yeah. Thank you. Farmland says Kenny and Terry, Lucifer and his minions have been caught stealing not once, not twice, three times. He has to restore sevenfold according to Proverbs 631. Enough said. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I agree. Um, Lovely Africa says get cameras and alarms. Believe yeah. it or not, we do. We have them. <laughs> now, we, I, that's we, what we, I was we, putting mm. on today. Yeah. Our Hogan says, say it again, Terry, even in our um, poorest state, you still should have some integrity about yourself, yeah. a line that you don't. That's what I'm saying. Like what type of person just breaks your wall? Be a thief, break a window, break a, a door or come, a break through a door. But don't um, mess with the foundation of our home that we, you know what I mean? Like what if we didn't have money to put fix the hole? Now the hole all the animals over there and the little all the bugs coming in uh mickey lee says that's right they can't blame it on poverty i would um rather be a beggar than a thief me too um steph says they knew exactly which wall and area of that wall to mm -hmm. breach that's what um you said mm -hmm. yeah yeah somebody knew somebody knew what it what was there probably but we'll find out um, Gary Whipple said, I well, let me just give this. We did go, the police did come and do a report. So that's being investigated and it's from one of the guys here. So hopefully he'll come up with something. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Gary Whitfield said, I think a, mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, part of says peace. Wilbur White says, God bless you both. The devil is attacking you. The people in that town should know all the good you're doing in the community. Keep your head up. Yes. Thank you. Um, Lovely Africa says, the most high will always make a way no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. He always makes a way. Um, Lucretia said, the saddest part is um, the things shipped are for their community. They should be ashamed. Yes, because we were about to um, make a go down to the Akalo Sun, ask for a meeting to see when we can hand out the stuff right here. 
right down the road to all the children. Yeah. Um, Digital Dre says, it's pure evil, simple and plain. Being poor is not an excuse to violate someone like that. Thank you. I, I agree. agree. R. Hogan says, um, something you're doing right for that evil one to attack you guys like that. But God, be with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, Gary Whipple says, I think having wild dogs could solve all this mess. We have dogs. Wild dogs. Yeah, they're, they're pretty wild. They're wild enough, but that wasn't that they wasn't the case. They came on the other side. They came. They, they were not on the side of the dogs. They came through the no, back. They came in a, in a, on a vacant property, and then the dogs were outside in the compound, and they were in the house. And so the dogs were probably making all kinds of noise. Couldn't get to them. You could tell on Grip's face when we came home. Yeah, Grip said it all. <laughs> His Grip, face Grip, looked, Grip looked at us like yeah. he saw. First, he saw, he, heard, he heard us scream, making noise, and then he looked on the floor and he looked at us, and he was like, "I'm sorry, I couldn't get to him, but I wanted to get to him." And he just looked like, That's what it looked like. he just looked so sad. Like I I know that someone was in here. I heard him, but I could not get through the door, and I wish that he could have got through the door because. And, and I'd like to say to all those that are all the support you guys have been giving. Oh yeah, thank just you. Thank you. It's it's it helps so much. It, mm -hmm. it helps keep pushing you forward and you know and it's it's a blessing to be able to uh, just be a part of i guess you could say family on this youtube you know because we never intended to even have this youtube channel this and have it be like it is but you know the most high has his plans and he does what he wants to do when he wants to do it but we just want to say thank you guys Yes. Uh, for your support so much, so much. And blessings upon all of you. Yeah. That have support. That's true. And um and I just want to say to everyone, phone calls and um and phone calls and emails mm -hmm. and today some um what do you call those things on WhatsApp? WhatsApp messages yeah. have been so amazing. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. This is like very hard because now I'm afraid, not afraid because I don't have fear, but I think that every time we leave the house that somebody's going to be here targeting us. So I got plans for that. So I know we'll, to get we, security, but um, well, I'm not gonna this is, this is horrible. Yeah. This is horrible. But um, <laughs> I do have, um, faith and I am going to move forward, yeah. but I'm telling you guys, prepare when you are coming to any place that you haven't been. And I hope, and I'm, you know, when I walked in the door and I said, the first thing I said was, God, why? He, like, why did you allow this to happen? And then I had to stop myself. I said, Lord, forgive me because you said that all things are going to work together for my good. And my first question was, why? You know, why? And then today I spoke to two people on the phone. And um, both of them said, Terry, thank you. Because now I know when I come to do X, Y, and Z. And another person said, I'm, you know, by you know talking to you, I know to do X, Y, and Z. And I said, well, is this happening to us so we can prepare others what not to do and what to do? And whatever the cause is, whatever God allowed it to be for, I'm just thankful that we can pass the test, right? Mm -hmm. That he can use us to be vessels of honor mm -hmm. for his glory. So if it's for your good, I mean, his, our good and his glory, then it's worth it. But I'm telling you guys, it's horrible to have to um, walk through it. I know you you're stronger kenny and you know no, like, no 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 but it is very very hard no, I didn't say and, anything, yeah no, I didn't it's very say very hard it's very very hard. i agree with you very, very I, it is hard but you know i just it says someone in that someone in that community knows whose children yeah. are yeah i believe that too i believe that there's Wait. more than someone i think that um you know because to get into this community there's one way so i think that there's there are people sitting different places like here they come or they're coming or whatever, whoever's a part of that little fever 
free reign. Like it might be three guys and one could be sitting at the road. One could be sitting halfway to alarm one another. So people do know. I do believe that people do know. I don't think it's just they don't know. know. You know, I mean, well, I've already talked to someone. So they work, they're looking into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, right here, I think it's Orisa Ur- Boomi. Is that how you say it? I am sending love, light, and good intentions. It's so sad. Yes. Someone in that community, we already did that one. Mm-hmm. Um, Jan Ward says, you have our full support, Kenny and Terry. Many blessings to you both. Thank Thanks. you. A good security guard and cameras are good to have. Yes. Yeah, I think I want a security guard now. Mm-hmm. I never thought I wanted one. <laughs> but I think I would have been so safe with someone sitting outside, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Um, Tim Black says, I'm praying for y'all healing. I've been there. It's a bad feeling. Yes. Um, my Pana 48 says, evil will never win over the faithful. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you. Bertha Key says, that's evil. Very evil. Evil. Yes. Almeida McIver says, when you go out, Put grip in the house for the time you're out. That's what um a lot of people are saying. But grip is a destroyer. Like grip um, if we would leave Cairo in the house, Cairo would just you know sniff around and she would lay down and she would be good. Grip will tear one he'll, of my shoes live up. up. To his name. Grip, <laughs> grip. One of my shoes will. His be, name will no longer be Grip. It'd be just you drop the G. <laughs> It'd be Rip. Um, she, grip will tie, grip will rip up one of my shoes to the point where it's unidentifiable. Mm-hmm. Um, he will pull like he is a destroyer. Mm-hmm. He's a destroyer, so we can't leave grip in the house. So I wish I could. Um, Lovely Africa says I could actually I could I get actually what you're saying, Terry. Okay, thank you. Um, JD Orca says the person who did that has military experience. Mm-hmm. Think so. They have something. Yeah. They have some training. Wow. Because it's tactical. Wow. Um, Quentin Lacey says, um, pure evil, no respect. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. M. Johnson says, eight inch wall, barbed wire, and a pit bull knocked a hole through the wall. Wow. Only in movies. (laughs) Ain't that crazy? But that's for banks. I mean, (laughs) is that crazy? That's only, that's what I said. Like, what the heck? I feel like I was in, like, what? A whole, like, oh, man. Yeah. Um, Aris Sabumi says, no, it's making a gaping hole in someone's home beyond comprehension. Yeah. Barely, it really is. Um, Moodman and Blackman says, incidents like this makes me miss the previous administration. Mm. That's what a lot of people are saying. Mm. Yeah. Um, they jumped on me there. What happened? I don't know. You were at Mudalam and Blackman. Mm. Mudalam. Okay, there. Go down a little bit. Down right there. Okay. And then it says, Mickey Lee says, Satanic people. Yes, very. Um, John J. John Ward says, What is your cash app? Um, our cash app is. What is our cash app? Can you put it up there? Um, um it's dollar sign. African fund. Oh, I guess I can put it up. Af- Dollar sign. Let me see. Did Stacy leave? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put the link up. They wanted. Okay. She wanted me to put the link up. I'm gonna put it up in a minute. Three, two, find you and All right. There it is. Okay. So. Oh, well, um, African clink. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, I can't see. see. It jumped all the way down here, so I got to oh. go back. It's doing its own thing tonight. I don't know why. See that? Yeah. It's crazy. Um, sorry. I put that up for you. And that uh, whoever wanted that, that, then I'll take that back down. All right. Um, let me see. Okay, here it is. Um, Wait, is that it? No. Oh, wow. We must be late. It says, um, I think I'll go down, okay. down, 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 <laughs> a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Security guards, evil, lovely Africa. Yes. Go down a little bit more. Yes. Right there was a little alignment. Okay, African Queen just outside. Hey, sis. 
Paige and Sal. Okay, then go down, Kenny. Okay. Stacy says, Stacy, go up a little bit. Okay, it just turns things. I don't know. Okay, okay here's, here's this. Okay, I wouldn't share what you have or don't have. Yeah, I don't have anything. Bob Garvey says, make sure you make friends in the village. It's very important, believe me, because I'm not pointing fingers, but they have many Africans I support in Gambia and they take all opportunities. Mm. Yes, that's true. That's why I said it's not everybody. Well, we have friends, it's not yeah. everybody. And we do have friends mm -hmm. in the village. Yeah. At least we thought, I mean, we, we do. do. We have you know? he, one of the friends came over yeah. and he's, he's working on it. He's actually looking into it. So I mean, we made a lot of friends in the community. I mean, when we drive through the community, they call us out by name, Teddy, Kenny, you know. Yeah, so. so it's like I don't know. Yeah. I, I can't even wrap my head around it anymore. Better clear I up can't in a little bit. Figure it out. Um, Steph said yes. Terry, um, find my my niche. Find my niche says, can you trust security man? Well, we're gonna have to. Um, we're gonna go to we'll some. Really good. Yeah. yeah. And plus go to someone a reliable source. Mm -hmm. Someone we know. And then they, they will be able to refer someone hopefully trustworthy to us. We'll be careful with that. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Um B Slayton says that hole was small. Someone has to be very skinny or a kid to get through that hole. Well, we said that I the hole wasn't that small. It may look that small, but when I measured the hole I could have got through it. Yeah, it was it was pretty big. Mm -hmm. It was pretty big because it took away about three or three blocks of it was like i'll say maybe mm, it was big enough for somebody it was to get a, in it's like get a little out. wide and like a little yeah. high and i could have crawled through it because i looked at it and i said that must have been a little guy who They've came been in here uh -huh. but um i could have fit i looked at it and i was like wow you know mm -hmm. but i could have fit there it um lovely african said yes i agree with you terry mickey lee says yes we need a diaspora community for safety mm -hmm. so i want to speak to that just for a second oh Go ahead. anna henry oh, oh Whoa, hey thank you oh, wow, wow. Says, I says i have says, I, oh, ahead, ahead. I have watched you many times in the past you want me to read mm -hmm. i feel as though the lord is pressing me to send you this monetary gifts they encourage be blessed as you have continued to bless us and others Thank you very much. Thank That's you. very, very, very uh, Thank you. encouraging. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I want to speak to what Mickey said about the diaspora community for mm. a second because wow. when you leave a place that you're so used to going through, mm -hmm. being, um, <laughs> go ahead. You, you want me to talk? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to read this here. Sorry yes. about what happened to you guys last night. It is disheartening and cruel. The same thing happened to me months ago. Um, they broke in, broke into my newly built house, smashing my. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, Kappa. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Let me get a tissue. It says with it says with dogs, you guys are safe. There are thieves, area boys. Just need something to sell. I know. I know. And but the whole thing is, it's the damage that was done, which is really. Um, you, they really don't understand the integrity of the wall. You know, you, you that's dangerous to do, <laughs> bring down a wall on somebody. I mean, it could bring down a wall on somebody and hurt them because just for a few trinkets, you know, and uh, things aren't really worth that much that you're trying to sell, especially risking your life for it, uh, you know, so that, you know, I understand the poverty level, but I don't understand that the risk that they're taking just to um, get a few things. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll continue doing what we're doing. It's not gonna stop us, you know, but you're just gonna have to be more careful. Yeah, let me get rid of that. Okay. Anyway. I gotta, I gotta go down and do that. I want to um, say again for the diaspora community that I'm thinking more and more that a diaspora community is the best way to, um, is the best way to go to a different country. Um, because we all been through the same thing. We all kind of um, are, we'll all be new to the environment and we can have each other's back as we get acclimated into the community. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think it's, I think it's necessary. I didn't think so before mm. I, you know, we said that we want to live in the community, right? 
Yeah, well, they, amongst, we're waiting for people to come. No, but I'm saying we want to live in the key, you know, the real community. Like, we didn't want to be in a diaspora I still, I still want to be a part of that. I but want I, to be a part of, you know, understanding the culture. Because the reality is, you know, I, I you know how I it's see different. it. You yeah. know how I see it. And I yeah. always tell everybody the same thing. It's like Moses, you know. The whole thing about that Moses story is when he was stolen in the basket, he was raised in Pharaoh's house. He understood Pharaoh's ways. And so when he went back to the people that he came from, he didn't know no culture. He didn't know what they were doing. He had to learn their culture. He knew Pharaoh's culture, but he went back and he used a lot that he learned in Egypt to help them uh, to navigate through the desert and go where they had to go. Uh, and the same way, he still had to learn the cultures that he left. He didn't know the Hebrew culture. He didn't, he, you know, a lot of, because he didn't even know his mother. He didn't, you know, even though, once he got older, he had to relearn it. So I, I kind of like feel like, you know, I have to relearn it. Uh, we left Egypt, you know, a spiritual Egypt, and we're back now. And now I have to relearn uh, everything, you know, that that I didn't know. And so that's where I say when we go apart, become a part of the community, we just want to learn the culture. You know, we'll never, you know, be, uh, how do you say, a Gambian to that degree, you know, we'll probably be, always be African-Americans, but we are still coming from the same place and we should learn that culture and understand each other. And then that way, you know, realizing we're the same, you know, scratching and scraping, you know, they, they should have watched good times, you know, maybe <laughs> keeping their head above water, making a way when you can, temporary layoff, good times, easy credit ripoffs, bad times. But I'm just saying, I, I might make fun of it, but we're all dealing with the same type of uh, impoverished, impoverished economic uh, slavery, the, the whole gambit of colonization. We just have to learn to understand each other. That's what I, I really believe it make a difference and, and, and stop a lot. But it probably won't even stop these guys. Who, they're thieves. They're thieves. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think it's I think that it would take three generations to make the change three, yeah, so, yeah it, maybe, might, it maybe, might take some time maybe even more because you know things are so different it's just really really different so i now say and i didn't say this before mm -hmm. but i do say diaspora community mm -hmm. i really do i think that they they um all us that there's a plenty of land here in in all these countries they can pick a place and say this is for the the sixth nation. I think it's called the sixth region. I'm sorry, the diaspora does have a region, and I think it's called the sixth region. And they can say this is specifically for them. Let them be on this land. That's what I say. Okay. Yes. Little in Talawa says T and K. You are two strong, loving couples. You can fix it. Move on. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Me let her have her time <laughs> to sell. Mm -hmm. All right, Amina um, Shani says, we're all living in poverty. Thank you. Which of us is rich? None of us. We are all out here trying to survive. We live in a world where people will do anything for material things. There's a hole in humanity. Oh, Amina, say that again. There is a hole in humanity. We just don't even get it, sis. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting. So I, I'm gonna put on now. Um, or a uh -huh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, go the ahead. The link, because uh, um, oh. Stacy said that she had put that on. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the link up. I'm gonna come in and uh, have something to say. Okay. Okay. I didn't take it. I think so. Here it is. Okay, the link's gonna be on there. I have to get to it and go to the screen, but we'll keep moving on so until I can get to it. Um, M. Johnson says cameras wouldn't have helped because we could know we would have known who it was. Yeah, I was we would seeing have their seen their face, and if we could identify well, them, yeah, it'd there, been it would have been a little. I think it would have helped a little bit. Yeah. Um, steps. Okay. Um, African Queen says, "Kenny, you don't want." Okay. Okay. Yeah. Keep this in, Amina. <laughs> Um, preach Terry. It's sad. It really is sad. Lovely Africa says Terry is good. You're getting it out. Your system is yes. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But you go and to make it. Yes, yes, I know that I'm going to make it. I'm a strong person. Um, I am emotional. I wear my emotions on my sleeve, but I am strong, and I know that I'm going to make it with the Lord's help. I will make it. Um, B. Slayton says Terry has the right to feel hurt and disappointed, disgusted, and being robbed twice. 
things don't need to be sugar coated. Thank you. Uh, Maria um, Basipa says, hi, family. So sorry about what happened to you. Thank you, Maria. Oh, so, this, so is this a... Um, M. John, huh? yeah, no, I'm reading that, that. Don't be sarcastic. What What is this turning into? A uh, marriage seminar? A who? <laughs> who said, don't be sarcastic. Right here, somebody said, don't be sarcastic to your wife. He don't know me. Oh, don't be sarcastic towards your wife. Let like, her speak. Oh, um, no, it's not like that. It's just that I'm a woman and you're a man, I so you, that. you're not a I yeah. That. SVP says <laughs> lip. Uh, <laughs> True serum says you can't go home to a place you've never been. You left your exactly. That's what I'm saying. So it's like when you come to the motherland, it is a total new experience for at least for me. This is my first time on the motherland, and it's all new. So yes, it's. I'm a stranger. I'm a foreigner trying to learn my way, you know, and I just feel like it should be a little bit more welcoming because we've been through so much already. And I don't think that the people here, and I'm not speaking for everyone, so I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way. I don't think that people here know what we as black people in America have gone through. They don't know that how we had to, we had to go through so much. You know, and then we come here and it's like we have to go through so much again. And if there should be just a, it shouldn't be that way. We, you know, it should not be that way. But it's not another story. Um, I don't know. Did it jump again, Kenny? Yeah, I'm trying to find the link so I can put it in. Okay. Oh, somebody found it. Karen. Let me come back to it. All right. Oh, boy. I don't even know what the who's the last person we um read from. Do you remember? Um Okay, yeah, right here. Um oh. I don't know. All right. It jumped. I don't know. Anyway, so let's start here. Um, Rachel Taylor says, oh, my God, I'm getting the gist. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, Shams and Shim said the guy you spoke to. Oh, okay, somebody's there. I think in care. Is, are they not there? No, if I, don't, I don't click people off. I'll see their face. Oh, okay. So. Shams and Shim says the guy you spoke to probably did it. I'll send you a real guard dog, Rockwaller, if you want pit bulls or not that. Okay. Lovely Africa said, yes, definitely. I don't know what it went. Oh, it keeps jumping. Sorry. Yeah. Um, M.O. Sing. Okay. I think it's right there. Um, Farmland said, let us keep praying and supporting our brother, um, Kenny and Terry. Bob Jones says, "I'm you're going to the back. You're going backwards. Oh. Okay. Farmland says, let us um, keep praying and supporting. Okay. Bob Jones says, I completely understand how you feel, but I'm confident you will overcome this. Thank you. Blessings. Graham says, yes, Ken uh, Kenny, speak it. Hallelujah. Yeah, I got you both. Thank you. May God repair everything and may God bless you always. Yes, faith, Jesus, our Lord be with you and this too shall pass. You don't deserve this for sure. Thank you so much. Um, Sheila Williams says, these people have to know that you are angry and there won't be another next time. Yes, and we, yes. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. They do have to know. It's unacceptable. African Queen says, how many times do you keep accepting this too? Yes. Livewire says, vultures out there looking for an easy meal. Got to keep plans close to your chest or tell you to offer the fact. Never before. God bless. Vultures out there looking for an easy meal. Got to keep plans. Well, well, we never said any of our plans out loud. We never discussed any of our plans. and We never told anyone we were doing anything. So after the fact is now. Um, so it was just someone watching us. Um, 
because we never told anybody we were going out or they see us going out. Um, John Ward says, make sure to post your cash app. They did that. Hershey Kiss, I'm so sad that you have experienced such violations. I'm praying that you all are blessed and million fold comforted, healed, and protected. Thank you. Many of these things think that some A's are rich, which is just not true. These are just horrible everywhere. Yes, they think that we're rich and we're not rich. Like we are not rich. We are not rich. Auntie K says praying. JLJ says faith does not mean that you don't access the situation and decide to make changes. Thank you. Um, Maria Masipa says you have the right to be angry, sister. That is insane. We happy to see you coming home to the motherland. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for being happy. Thank you. Sheila Williams says when this happened, I was mad with you. I've been here um, day one with you guys. Thanks, Sheila. Rachel says, oh my God, I'm getting, okay, shams and shims, this guy, you spoke, okay, we did that one, babe, lovely Africa, yes, definitely, Kenny, we did that one, um, Mary Ellen said, I, oops, and jumps, there's a lot of them, there. okay, you read all of them. Um, okay, I'm not gonna read all of them, okay, go to where you wanna go, that's because right. we're running, we're, we're, okay, yeah, it's a lot of them, on. You start right here, I guess. No. Okay, Miss Kizzy says, mm -hmm. I hear you, Kenny and Terry. I am from Venus, but my cousins Smith and Wesson are from <laughs> That's funny. Loretta Banks says, keep the dogs in the house. We might have to do that. African Queen says, you're not wrong for feeling the way you do. Thank you. And you are human and it's not material <laughs> things in principle. They destroyed everything that's terrible. Yes. Um, it was personal. That's what I feel like too. It was personal. Peekaboo, Peekaboo says it will be much better when your neighbors move to your land. Kenny, you may need to put barbed wire on the side of your small house. I got barbed wire all around. Yeah. And it will be better once our neighbors are here. Mm -hmm. You're right, because we can all look out for one another. Mm -hmm. Kebo says, my advice to you guys to higher security in your home, Gambia is no more safe. Yes, I think that's what needs to be done. True Seeker says, hopefully you guys can quickly redeem your peace of mind. Rachel says, yikes. Richmond says, peace family. Christine says, praying that God will deal with them severely. I'm praying that too. Hershey Kiss says, sending you huge, a huge sister hugs of comfort, healing and comfort, Terry. Thank you, thank you. Naji says, they wanted your peace, but your treasures are higher than this. Yes, they're trying to take my peace, but I, it, it belongs to me because God gave it to me. And nobody can't take it. And um, But they disrupted my day yesterday. And today I'm just, you know, getting my footing back, but I'm good. I am still at peace. Um, beloved one says, I admire your strength and love you guys. You are blessed and hope your inner peace will be restored. Thank you. Stay safe. Farouk Salam says, um, peace, guys, the peace that comes from the creator. Yes. There goes Bob Garvey. Kenny, trying to come in. Um, Shams and Shim says, stop apologizing for their actions. I know that's right. Can we see him? Yeah, there he is. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, first of all, let me take my glasses. First of all, I have to say um, on my behalf and as a Gambian, we are very, very saddened what happened. Yeah. And um, I realized mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I was talking to some YouTubers in Gambia, always in the rainy season. This is very, very um, serious. In the rainy season, what happened to us Gambians in those days, like these thieves, they, they always take the advantage of the noises. You know? It was happening before. Mm -hmm. But it was never on camera or TV or YouTube. 
you know. But it is good now that everybody is um, seeing mm, this. Yeah. Things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. And that is the first thing. First of all, we are very very sorry what happened. We are not like this. We are very poor, I know that. But we are not like this. We got pickpockets and things like that, but this thing is is just out of We know that. Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is just another level. It's you getting know? out of control, though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um yeah. The, 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 yeah. What I want to say is that um you you guys just keep going. And it's very important. I know some people might not agree with me, but in a village, I'm a Gambian. I was born there, I was raised there, I spent my whole life there. If you happen to have these friends and whatever it is in the village and things like always invite them to your place. I'm talking about the people who are born there. The, in the village from elder downwards <laughs> always contact with them in such type of situation you have all help, help what you need you know I know you guys are doing too much you interact with the locals and things like that but in, in another sense um, for me that it looks like um, a little bit isolation you understand? This, this, uh, uh, you know, this, this small boys, um, this comedy uh, boys. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know this, this um, Alasana, this comedy, comedy guys, these boys. Oh, you mean the yeah. comedy, the yeah. comedy Almost, guys? Yeah, yeah. There are some, um, um, in my own opinion, as a Gambian, they are one of the um, one of these peoples um, who knows everything what is going around in your country. You should always have them in your area, even if you he help them. Whatever you do, always just come hey come let's drink attire let's uh, make some something you know it's it's gambian culture i'm talking about you know we people don't need to give these people money but always be with them and anything in such situations like your situation right now when something happens they will be always there and they can stop so many things before it happens because they are villagers and i'm telling you these people who are who did this this robbery i don't know what is robbery or burglary in your place they are not gambians you you can tell me whatever you want in this world they are not gambians we don't know this you know from since time in of independence till now nothing but the problem with gambia is that we invite everyone before even americans or diasporas coming to to gambia everybody was living there but now kasamas is destroyed everybody's coming and these people they don't they don't take any um they always take any uh, every chance they get and i'm telling you this this is not a joke they don't care so they can even kill to get something bob, let me ask you a question yeah, hello bob yeah. so how do you how do you, how yes, do you move forward with the emotions that you're dealing with. Yeah. Excuse me, no. Uh, can I you repeat how, the question, How do you please? move forward? Uh, the topic is how do, how do you move forward? Hmm? Yeah. The, how how we... The topic how is we... Yeah. How to move forward. How do you how move forward? Move, yeah, how we move forward yeah. is... Um, um, I don't know in which situation, in your situation or, or everybody. No, or the emotion. Uh, okay, the emotions. <laughs> like, I say, emotions like, I, um, like I say, um, Kenny, I'm, I'm a realist. Um, just let your emotions go. Just talk what you want. Cry, um, shout, get angry, you know, just let it go. You know, that is the only way to move forward. But if, you, if, if we are trying to um, hold it back, we will never go, you know. These bullshits that is happening yes, good, in Gambia, yeah. This bullshit that is happening in Gambia, this is not us. If you go to 80, 90 percent of Gambia and go into the streets, they don't even, some of them don't even know what uh, YouTube is existing. 
You understand? You know, but if they hear this thing, they will they will make sure that this thing will never happen. We have bad elements, very, very bad elements in Gambia. And these things have to stop. Uh, but doesn't mean that these bad elements should stop everybody's progress in Gambia, especially right. our brothers and sisters who are coming from outside um, in the diaspora. You know, it should have to go. We have to stay strong, you know, at least at this moment, at least I'm uh -oh, saying at least. Breaking. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, at least. At, yeah, at least at this moment, um, in this uh, in this uh, country, yes, um, yes, um, if if yeah. if we know how to to take things step by step, and not not uh, only goes about um, uh, like oh, I have to get my gun here also. Hey, boy, I'm telling, you, uh, uh, and this is a big advice for diasporans who are talking about guns, guns, guns. Boy, if you come to Gambia, you bring your guns. You are going to end up in mile two, and if you end up in mile two, you will never come out. So let them stop this bullshit. Let them just stop them with their guns. Let them stay in America and kill each other there. You know? I think it's gone. Hmm, it's a bit of a... Hello, it's back. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I guess Bob got it dropped. Bob, well, thank you for coming on, and and we appreciate what you said. Um, and we will, you know, we will we appreciate that, Bob. Thank you so much. Most definitely. Thank you. Okay, so um, someone is saying, FYI, I noticed. Did you put that up there? You're gonna post it up there? Oh no. No, I was gonna check into it. And see okay. What it is. Um, Red says says that will not change anything bad people are bad people okay um miss mj says but some gambians are thieves that has been shown as fact over and over okay phil f says uh oh i don't know where we went um, all right well let me see i'm trying to get back we're back Where's, where's, I know, where's Phil, um, I don't know, where we can go. Let me see, I gotta get back here, I don't know what happened, this thing fell. Okay, she's right here, we hear you, Bob. Oh, Phil okay. said, go to Phil, said, um, some network security cameras on your Probably would be useful. I think there was a security expert on Blacks. Its channel before might be a good resource. Thank you. Um, add another expat to the live. Um, my okay. oh um. Let's see. Well, who was that? Um, Kathy Brown Hatter. Hatter, thank you so much for your um, you cash so out. Much. We appreciate you and the F one. Um, Fred, I says what. Kahalia Smith said, "There's that's a business in, in itself.
goodness, that is funny. Oh, right, we're back. Okay. Wait, I was reading some of the comments because I couldn't see you guys' face. Stephanie said, the jerks must have stolen your internet too. Wow. Stephanie, thank you for making me laugh. That was good. Yes, they stole our internet. Okay. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Was okay. Um, I don't know where we lost track at. Um, I don't even know where we lost track. But anyway, um, Kenny, mm -hmm. do you want to go back and try to go down the, the line or what? No, I'm, I'm fine. I just wanted to thank, um, I mean, just thank everybody for their support. That's it. Thank for your support. It was a long night, guys, you know, so. But that's all I have to say. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, Kenny. So mm -hmm. it looks like um, we are going to end this. Um, so, guys, I just want to say thank you to everyone here. I didn't get down to a lot of the messages or the comments, but we just really appreciate you guys. Um. Steph says, okay, Iceman says, appreciate the arrival's faith, courage, and steadfastness. Thank you, Philly. We love you. We appreciate you. Ram Transport says, laugh out loud. Papa Cheesy says, good vibes. Harmony Park says, set a trap. Okay. B. Sanford says, get your thumbs up. Sankara, get big guard dogs. Okay. All right. Um... All right, it keeps jumping. I know. Tarp Boy Kunta says, y'all the best African-American. Oh, that left again. Mm -hmm. And Gambia, please don't let this week you because it's happening to all of us. Can't believe how selfish some AAs are not sympathize with Africans, corrupt government, but discriminate. Mm -hmm. The Americans are other desperate have resources which can be answers. Can live in what the West calls their world countries risk their lives to move to other nations. Yes. Um anyway, we um we are going to um end this night. We want to say thank you. I want to um thank everyone for joining us tonight. We appreciate and just support the channel. Oh another thing we wanted to make we wanted to make announcement about um about showing the videos the YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. What did we decide about going for it with the YouTube videos? What do you mean? About showing our progress anymore. No. I, mean, hmm? I don't know. What, what oh, do never we, mind. All right, guys. We're gonna <laughs> what say do we, we're gonna, what do we come up with? We're gonna say good night. Yeah. We just wanna I just wanna thank, thank you guys. There's so many um comments that I was unable was to read and I just wanted to go down one by one and just say thank you for um, all your encouragement mm -hmm. all your um, donations we appreciate you everyone's not going to see eye to eye on this and everyone's not going to um, feel the same way but um, it's a personal journey Mm. So it is All right. Back. Okay. Guys, I don't know. We were saying good night. We were saying thank you to everybody. We appreciate you guys. Um thanks for all the encouragement. We appreciate it. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Keep us in prayer and and um yeah. Thank you guys for everything. Okay. Let's see what you're starting.